definitely want to come back there. Has Coach changed his normal starting time, or is BD3 making him start earlier because he's loving it? What do you think, Jalen? As someone who's been here a long time, what do you think? Boris, Boris, put some sensuality in. Okay. Cool. I think we're gonna break the lock again and stuff. Spinner with the ten months. Thank you, bud. Another good. Well, the cage is sturdy. The lock. No! Probably get two hundred XP thought. for that. Uh, you know what? As weird as it is, I actually want to. I want to hear her backstory on this before we do it. Yeah, Shaylin, I've been starting at 8 a.m. for 10 years. I, I'm not. That's that's my normal start time. Yeah. My time comes. I will show you. But sometimes I start earlier if I'm really liking the game. I have a figure. I I have a feeling that um, Starfield's going to be the same way. Break my soon. I deserve this chat. I deserve that. I did. It was, this was like when Co played Cyberpunk. Like, yeah, it is. And maybe again, too. I'm really excited for uh, new Cyberpunk stuff. Something got shifted around. Did we replace our weapons or something? Maybe. Okay. Just to be disappointed with Cyberpunk yet again. Uh, well, here's the thing. I'm one of the people that actually liked Cyberpunk the first time I played it. So I already know I'm not going to be disappointed playing it. Um, that being said, I'm also... The, the changes that I know they're making to the game are really, really interesting to me. So I'm, I'm actually like... I'm pretty freaking hyped to revisit Cyberpunk. Um, I'm Come I'm actually really looking thoughts. forward to it. Sounds boring. Ah. Uh. Yeah, it is. It is one of probably one of my more anticipated playthroughs this year. Mm -hmm. As long as it all works, <laughs> which you know, we'll see. But if it does, it's gonna be great. Oh, dude. Yeah. Okay. So they're they're adding. But now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced, or because this group is full of weirdos. Dude, I love it. Are you worried about Casador finding out your back? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee, even with my newfound advantages. He's still an incredibly powerful vampire, but he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. Sounds risky. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him... It would be worth any risk. So yes, I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. Awesome. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Awesome. Ooh. Uh, so, yeah, somebody asked earlier about the cyberpunk stuff. So, the base game... Since I've played, they've added more apartments, tons of bug fixes, transmog, which is something that bugged the absolute hell out of me through my first playthrough, 
They've made driving better. And as part of the new expansion, they're going to be completely redoing skill trees and adding more iconic abilities, changing the entire way that cyberware works so that that's where armor and stuff comes from instead of what you're wearing, which is also huge. They've rebalanced almost all the guns and melee completely. Um, and they're also going to be fixing the police system and making it at least a little closer to what they told us would be on launch. So that's all awesome. Then on top of that, we've got all of the new stuff coming with the expansion. So the expansion is going to add, you know, a whole new area to explore, whole new storylines, uh, probably a ton of new weapons, all sorts of things. So it, it it's basically going to be like, for me, it's going to be, considering I played on release, it's going to be very much like a different game in a lot of ways. Um, there's, there's a new ending, which I'm hoping is the ending I was going for and didn't get the first time. Idris Elba is awesome. I can't wait to see Idris Elba. Um, so yeah, it, it's, there's, there's a lot of, for me personally, I'm not, I'm not saying for everyone, but for somebody who thought the, even the original cyberpunk was pretty good. This is like, this is a lot of really, really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, they never said the expansion would be free. Oh no, 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 no. The expansion is paid. Idris Elba, the new area, all of that stuff is, is absolutely a charged expansion. But the base game is getting a huge patch at that time. And a lot of those, the, the, the big update that's coming with the expansion is free. Absolutely. That's the one that's rebalancing skills, changing how clothing works, um, adding the police system. Um, like all, all of that stuff is, is being changed. And we're going to be doing a melee run the second time. Um, I think, I think, I don't know. I, I, I think we're going to do a melee male run. I was going to do a female run, but I kind of want to romance someone in particular. And I don't know if they're, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Man, also, I'm kind of curious. I wonder if there's new romance options in the expansion. But anyway, I'm super excited about it. We're going to be starting our playthrough from the beginning on the release. So I, because I want to start our playthrough with the new patch. So we've got a large melee run planned for that. Yep. The first time we played through, we used the uh, Shinken Mark V, which I have a I actually, ha I had that weapon made, which I absolutely love. It's like one of the biggest parts of my collection. And um, so this time, and we did, we did Shingen Mark V with huge hacking. Like we were, we were all about hacking. So this time we're going to be all about melee. We're going to be all about stealth. And um, we're not going to, not going to do so much hacking. It's going to be more, um, more of other stuff as well. You have the Shingen Mark V? I do. Yes. Uh, I wonder... God, I don't remember what the command is. Um, is it Shinken? No, it's, I don't remember. I, I need to remember what the command is. Uh, unfortunately, it is literally like bolted to my wall. So um, I can't I can't bring it on stream to show, but I have a video. I have a video of unboxing it. So, and that's, um, I'm trying to remember what it is. I don't remember what it is. But yeah, it's in, it's in that video, It's a, it, which is on my YouTube. <clears throat> okay, is my statue? Oh, look, there's my statue. Wait, no, wait. Thank you guys for tuning in this morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it is now eight o'clock and our stream is just starting for the first time. I I trust y'all have been having a great night. We're gonna be playing some Baldur's Gate 3 today and uh, very excited to continue our adventure. So let's go ahead and get started with the first bit of the day here. Another I'm gonna save scum my stream. I need a quick word. I just, I just f a my entire stream. Your service. Even though um, this it's is the first time we've done this, now, I'm just going to speed through it for no particular reason. Ah, oh, 
You shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. I'm this weird sense of deja vu selling this stuff, but I can't quite place it. Can I shoot arrows from a hand crossbow? Is that a thing? Yes, you can. Cool. Okay. I wonder how heavy arrows are. I should probably start. I need to get an arrow pouch. If only there was some kind of name for a, a, a pouch or container that holds arrows. Oh, I have luck. Can someone tell me how Coke can transfer items to sell without clicking on it? I tried, but I have to drag the items. Oh, just double click. Yeah, if you double click on items, they they move over. Oh, Lucille. There it is. It's oh, by the way, for those that wanted it. Grapevine, then pivot step. Jacob, you have the grace of my great grandmother's missing leg. Oh, there you go. And Boris, Boris, put some sense. Sorry for interrupting. And here you go for those on mobile that can't click the link. Hi everybody. Shut up, go, you're dumb. This is uh this is the Shingen Mark V. Get it right this time. Oh, it is what's awesome about this gun is that it is the the company that made it was called Lightning Cosplay. And they worked with CDPR. So what they did was CDPR actually sent the 3D project files of the weapon to Lightning Cosplay and then they made the gun to exact specifications. So the gun is literally a real life recreation recreation of the gun in the game. Um like down to the the finest details. So there's only one of these in existence. Um uh, and uh it's it's pretty badass. <laughs> Uh, does it shoot? No, no, no. It's it's polymer. It's polymer. The whole thing's polymer. It's very heavy. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a polymer thing. But the whole thing was made on the 3D model, so it's it's like it's pixel perfect. It's great. It's like one of the crowning things of my collection. Pretty great. Mhm. Mm oh, the cemetery. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Your brother just bought you the game? Nice, Revan. Oh yeah, man. I'll give you 10 euros for it. Sold. Uh, shoot me your your uh, your PayPal information and, and we'll meet up after the stream. Another. My time comes. I will show you. Yep. Look, every I roar. Break my cage. And then you all die. Do I do cosplay? No. Well, the cage well is sturdy. The lock I've been known old. to cosplay a pretty mean Garomi chan. So that's about it. No! If I didn't like Pillars of Eternity, will I like this game? It completely depends on why you didn't like Pillars of Eternity. This is a CRPG like Pillars of Eternity, and to put it bluntly, Pillars of Eternity is one of the best CRPGs ever made. So if you if you didn't like PoE because of like the huge amount of story and the deep mechanics and things of that nature, you're going to find all those in this game too. If you didn't like PoE because you felt like you had to do a whole lot of reading or things like that, this game is like a triple A version of PoE. So um, you know, the, like everything's voice acted. It's all super well voice acted. So I mean, it's it's. You know, it depends on why you don't like PoE. Yeah. But I will say this game is a game that comes around like once in a couple to a few decades. <laughs> so it, in, a, in a lot of ways, it kind of is in a, a class of its own. Yeah. Well, no, there's a better way to say this. This is not a game that comes around once in a few decades. The world has never seen a game like this one. This is the first time in gaming history that we've seen a relatively niche niche genre, which is CRPG, have the veneer of a AAA experience. 
So this is not only a game that doesn't come around often, this is the first of its kind. So it's like we have we have not, there's no other game to really compare this to because there's not really a game like it. Razul says oversell much? Oh no, I'm not overselling at all. This is this is just facts. Like I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying this to say it's the best game ever made. I'm saying we've never seen a CRPG that has a top tier voice acting cast, every single conversation mo capped, literally millions of lines of dialogue. Like we've we've never this is this is a first for that kind of stuff. So there have been other games that have done pretty well and had a lot of the stuff voice acted or had, you know, a, a good amount of it. But like the, 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 this is the first time you've seen like a triple A quality CRPG. And again, I'm not, I'm not overselling it. I'm just saying what it is. DOS two was close. DOS two was like the blueprint for this game. It wasn't, it wasn't quite there though, but it was like, it was a very, it, it was basically the foundation this game was built on, which, you know, is close. Um, but in terms of like a CRPG, then, you know, this is, this is the first we've seen of this. And again, I'm not saying that to sell it. I'm saying that just in terms of comparison. Yeah. There's my statue. Much better. Okay. Yeah. Soldier. It's the best game ever made in the genre for sure. Uh, you know, I think we need to finish it first before we say something like that. But it's it's very good. <laughs> it's absolutely very good. Really? I mean, the big thing about these really? games is really? don't don't oh. get me wrong. The the full voice acting is amazing. The full cast is amazing and stuff like that. But these games are all about their characters, their story, how well they all mesh together at the end, how the ending is. Like these these games are are giant total packages of stories and characters. So I, there's no way I could say this is an amazing game at this point. Or, or, or the best CRPG at this point. Like we have to, we have to kind of see how it all comes together. Because that's a big it's part of these enough. games. We have a gap. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been. But he's arrogant. So yes, I do worry about fate. One of the reasons that PoE One is so iconic is because it does such an incredible job of developing its characters and then having this like incredibly cool summation slash conclusion that brings it all together. It was incredibly well done. Like, really, really, really well done. Um, honestly, it's going to be hard to beat in a lot of ways. DOS 2 has a great, when it when it works, um, DOS 2 has a great kind of ending sum up as well. Um, you know, Wasteland 3 was hilarious, which which not a lot of CRPGs try to do. Although DOS 2 and, and this game are doing it pretty well, but that's kind of a rarity in that. So, uh, in Pat Kingmaker and Wrath of the Righteous. Wrath of the Righteous especially. Wrath of the Righteous was actually incredible um especially towards the end so um you know like it's not it's not really easy to say that when you when you when you focus on what makes a crpg which is the characters and the story oh i left hysterian um there's not really a lot of room for one to really be and this is one of the reasons i love the genre this is one of the reasons i love crpgs there's not really, like, they're all so good if you experience everything they have to offer oh, that my there's not really one that daughter. is, like, head and shoulders above the others. I you'd never ask. So, and, and that's what I love about them. That's what I absolutely love about them. Oh, wow, absolutely nothing. Oh, a feat, I guess. What do we want for his feat? We could take Dex to 20. Is there anything we really need for an assassin? Um, I wonder if there's like a... We already got mobile. Which is good. That's a good one. Lucky is nice. I don't have lucky on anyone. I kind of want to bump the decks though. I kind of want to bump the decks. Alert is good. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Alert's good. Five is serious, man. I still kind of want to get 20. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and get 20 decks, though. That extra, that extra point on basically everything he does is real nice. Yeah, that's real nice. You got to go for the value. It's all about the value. 
Ulkar, thank you very much for the three years, buddy. Really appreciate that. Also, hey, El Plagiato, I see you wiggling in there. You can't hide from me, bro. All right, let's go. Gear him up. He's pretty well geared. He's pretty well geared. Buddy the dog. Why? Because <laughs> did you hear oh. about the scarecrow? Oh wow, he starts talking early. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna totally let this ride out. I accidentally skipped an Asterian line. Hold on now. If I have a short attention span, will I not enjoy this game? Uh, not necessarily. This game gives you a lot of different things to do at once. So if you are, as an ADD, ADHD person myself, I'm having a great time in it. Because I'm constantly seeing new things to do and wanting to do. Yeah. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Hey! Oh, dude, DAO is is DAO is ahead of its time. Mm, not to my taste, but I'll take a clown over some hack magician pulling peonies from his breeches. Did I... you hear about the scarecrow who lost a fight? Sure did. His opponent was really clutching at straws. Hey! Stereo approves. Looks like we've got a proper comedian in our midst. Oh hell yeah! Good thing too. I'll need someone with your wits for my next trick. Now, where are you? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver passes through you. You, my special assistant. Come on. Can I push up a Styrian? You love the spotlight, don't you, Styrian? Here's your big chance. What? No. Don't you dare. This isn't funny. Oh, my heart. The enthusiasm is... Too much! Now, up, up! Did he disapprove? Oh, poor buddy will think you don't like him. Oh, he did? Right there! Oh, perfect! The Monasterian. <laughs> of course! Wait, what did fun? he disapprove again? I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're probably not going to do this, but I want to see what happens. Okay, now that he hates us. If nothing else, this is worth it to hear now, Neil Newbon's take on this. Very special. A specialist can be. Oh Does god, this is Orin. Why? This is Orin. You're special, my friend. Because I Maybe. have a message just for you. Praise the absolute. Please. Is this part of the show? Praise the absolute. Okay. That was definitely not worth two different hits against it. Yeah, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> we're not doing that. I was hoping for a whole thing, man. I wanted to hear I wanted to hear Neil go crazy with that. Damn. I'm actually disappointed. <laughs> it was still funny, don't get me wrong, but Please I'm actually disappointed. <laughs> okay, that was definitely not worth... Um... Alright, let's see what we actually want to do here. My special assistant. Come on up. What do you, uh, sure, okay. Let's just go up. Should this prove embarrassing? Just imagine the audience in the nude. Okay. No! I always tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me, what makes you special? There's something unique about my brain. No, no, it's not that silly head of yours. You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus, in all of Baldur's Gate. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, uh, my friend. Praise the absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. Hey, nice. Oh my God, he's got a giant circus hammer. I love it. We got to bleed. Is this part of the show? Praise the absolute. I feel bonking is necessary at this point. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, we are we're missing some slots. Okay. What's a cat? Dude, is the whole is the whole camp absolute? No, it's just this area. Okay. <laughs> 